Hey everyone, Brandon Charleston here coming at you with another quick tutorial for all things AI automation and leveraging the latest technologies on scaling your company. If you haven't already come across this channel, I talk about the latest platforms and being able to scale and automate a lot of your processes and workflows. So that said, in this video, I'm going to cover the new feature released from Clay, which is templates. If you haven't come across Clay quite yet, it is a wonderful platform where you can take all the data interpolate it into a workflow in which you can scale to send hyper personalized outreach at scale which saves a ton of money ton of time and allows you to scale your company so that said let's dive in so what I'm gonna do is basically go to the plate templates uh, website here which I'll put in the link in, in the description and then what you gotta do is just go ahead and select the template which obviously there's a wonderful library that's already been populated and there's definitely more to come that said if you haven't already been part of the webinar that was just a few days ago I posted it also on my channel as well as the clay channel you can check that out and some fellow experts along with myself share the latest workflows on what you can do to leverage uh, all your workflows there so let's just go ahead and select just a random one here so you can see they are pre-populated with a high level overview of what this workflow entails and what I encourage you to do is to just dive in when you click on it it can obviously go into what the intent here is and duplicate it and then ingest it into your workflow here so we're just going to click on duplicate template and then you can see all the pre-populated enrichments that it will have which you definitely want to be familiar with and then once you decide you want to work with this template you'll simply copy table to your workspace and begin from there now before you start to do any sort of credit spending or do anything with your table you want to first uh, understand and go into each of the enrichments and definitely have a good understanding of how many credits it's going to cost you potentially uh, what the information is going to retrieve to make sure that it's good data to be useful for you and then how you're going to be able to interpolate that data in order to come up with a finished email or some sort of outreach right so with that I would just familiarize yourself not only with the enrichments but to actually go into the columns and then know just simply what it's going to populate and this is the LinkedIn enrichment company. So this is um, not having a, something here just because we haven't populated a field yet. And then this one, for example, is built with, which is a wonderful integration that we have of being able to pull on the different technologies uh, that a website has. And so you wanna obviously make sure you're either using Clay's API key, which you can see right here will cost two credits, or you can use your own API key if you have that plugged in. So, and then from here, this is the Clayjent. If you're not already familiar with Clayjent, it is definitely one of the most powerful integrations that Clay has to date, which essentially you're allowing ChatGPT or GPT engine such as 3.5 or GPT-4 as of this recording. There may be another one or GPT-5 coming out any day now, who knows. But what you can do is you essentially allow it to go do research for you and retrieve any sort of data that you look for. Think of it as like your assistant for doing research at scale. So that said, when you're using any sort of AI such as Clayjet or any AI model, you want to be familiar with the prompt that is already populated in here. And I did publish a template which talks about all the different AI models and also with a Google Doc in there to be able to understand and provide some context on how to talk and best practice with uh, the AI models. And a lot of times you, you will be able to get into a flow of good token utilization so you're not saying too many words um, and not defining your inputs and outputs for what you are looking for ultimately. So with that said, uh, just familiarize yourself on the actual prompt that is coming in here to know that this is the information that is going to be retrieved. So that's on Clayjent and then obviously these are the other two um, prompts here for, for what we're asking for. If you notice here, this particular prompt, it is defining who you are or what your role is. You can either say, I want you to do this or you are this. You want to give it a role or some sort of context on their persona of what the AI is. And then you want to clearly define what your prompt is and then what the output that you expect is. Uh, again, you wanna be familiar with the credits. So that way when you run run row, one row, excuse me, uh, you're not gonna wonder why you just burned all through all your credits and wondering what the heck just happened. So that said, 
Um, obviously you could start your workflow and then just be able to, I'm just gonna punch in some items here just to kind of see and show you what that looks like. So I'll punch in uh, my information here. And then what it'll do is it'll start to run and then it's going to pen and it just automatically runs. So when you run these, it's going to populate uh, from a waterfall and if you need to change the waterfall or if you just kind of want to test each and every one what I recommend you do is just simply go into it and then you go to rent settings and you can turn on or turn on or off the auto update and you can also go up to the ellipses here and you can just turn off auto update columns so that would be one thing to do just to test each and every step to make sure you're getting the information that you seek and that you're not burning through credits um, arbitrarily so this one I have an API credit which uh, or I don't have API credits so I just go in here and then I save and do not run and in this case let's use a clay credit or two and we'll have that queue up and you can see based on this enrichment here that it's populated in my LinkedIn so a lot of the LinkedIn's are all the data points are the same and what you could do is you can go into any sort of things that you want to pull and normally what I like to do is go into the experience. Zero is their latest experience. And you can see this is the URL, this is the title, and this is the summary from there. And then when you go into a rich company, you can do the same thing. So it populates and pulls all the data that is from the company page. So you'll be able to see the type and the size and things like that. And then with built with, this is Definitely a powerful integration because it'll pull the technologies that are installed into the company. And what you could do as well is filter for specific technologies instead of looking through sometimes a huge list of technologies. Some of them you'll see a lot of technologies in there. And so usually if you know what kind of technology you're going for, such as if, if some company is using AWS um, or ad, Google Ads or anything like that, usually you'll want to filter in. And then all you need to do to go into that is type in keywords and you can filter different keywords from there. So Bill With is definitely powerful in that regard. And then when it comes to Clagent, it's best to Obviously you get the result and if this is not quite the result you're looking for then what you want to do is obviously refine your prompt and to be able to do the input for the output that you like to do. But another thing here that's actually very powerful is the confidence. And you can see this one right here is 100% confident. But if you are, for instance, asking Clagent to do or retrieve some sort of data for what you're asking it for and you're giving it more power or more creative ability to retrieve that information, Usually in the prompt, you'll want to put something like, only give me this uh, output if it's if you are 95% or more uh, confident, or 90% or whatever flexibility you want. So instilling or putting in that confidence level into your prompt could definitely help, help you get your uh, result that you're looking for. And uh, this is definitely not true, but it says that no customers were found, so that's fine and dandy. But from here, obviously there's a start, so obviously I would populate a list. Another thing you can do is just go to the import tab here and you can import more companies to be able to populate or do any sort of integration from there. And then from there, you would just go to enrich data and there's obviously a ton of more enrichments and integrations that you can use to waterfall and continue your workflow all the way to your finished deliverable, which is hopefully an email to get you some more revenue and some more opportunities. So I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, please join the Clay Slack channel. It's a great community, a lot of engagements and a lot of helping people out there, including myself. Otherwise, feel free to reach out to me as well. For me, I do lead generation for B2B companies of all sorts and sizes, as well as consultations to help you with the learning curve of clay. So that said, happy clay making and thanks for watching.